the, the challenger, so to speak, Charles Chong? And this is a very common question that I've been getting from uh, different media. Right? Um, my, my reply has always been, I think regardless of who uh, the candidate is, uh, regardless of uh, the tenure, okay, as in, in my term as an MP, uh, in Hong Kong East, uh, we should not be taking anything for granted. Right? Uh, so so that, that's what I have to say uh, you know, uh, to, your, to your question. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your feel of the ground? I guess um, we don't want to speculate anything, all right? Um, it is hard to tell, okay? So um, let's uh, wait for polling day and we will know the result. What are some of the issues that residents here are more concerned yeah. about? Uh, there are, of course, um, two levels if you look at it. One will be, of course, municipal level, the other will be national issues. Uh, during our weekly walkabout, okay, residents feedback back both areas to us, okay? National issues as well as municipal issues. National issues very much... You can hear uh, very common, okay, very commonly, uh, a very common uh, issue or rather uh, concern that people always have will be they are still very concerned about healthcare issue, okay, and they are also very concerned about things like uh, I, I still cannot get food, you know, despite trying uh, many many times. Uh, another thing will be uh, over here, uh, childcare shortage is still a concern, okay. Uh, to be fair, there are a reasonable amount of a number of childcare here in the uh, Unfortunately, uh, demand exceeds supply. Okay, demand exceeds supply. And um, as we are all aware, you know, uh, AOP, our the anchor operator, okay, is open up to uh, more operators. So we do have a new operator here in Pongo East, uh, Eaton e Bridge, okay, uh, Eaton House e Bridge. So they open up actually two new childcare centres here. Uh, but still, it's not enough to meet the demands. But I also understand that there's uh, no way we can do every, I mean, uh, every board that you know turn it into a childcare centre, but I do hope that uh, the authorities, okay, the agencies that I've been uh, working with, okay, like um, ECDA, I mean, uh, I have to say a credit to ECDA, all right, uh, they have been really uh, you know, doing their best to help to solve this childcare centre. actually came to us to get approval uh, and, and we have given them the okay, we would like to go there and do it because we see that it is beneficial for the people here as well. Mm. Some of the issues you mentioned, I mean, in the last two years as MP here, mm. what have you done to address these shortages or concerns? Like one of them which I mentioned, um, I have three, uh, three issues that um, I wanted to uh, resolve, you know, when I was uh, elected in 2013, I told myself, uh, these three, I want to do my best to try to um, get it, you know, onto the ground. Uh, the first is of course the bus service here. Okay, the new estate. This is the new estate for Hong Kong East. Okay, this part of the of the area of the estate. Another one will be the childcare centre, and the third one is uh, food establishment. And I'll be very honest, uh, food establishment um still not uh, progressing uh, uh, very well. You know, still you know doing my best. All right, writing emails, uh, posting questions in Parliament, and all that. You know, to see whether uh, there's possibility of us getting. Um, you know, something for the rest of the year. And how would you rate your, your performance, performance so far? I think that is for residents to rate, right? yeah, not, not for myself to rate. So you set yourself three goals at the start of your term? Yes, you think these are the top three that I want to, uh, I, I want to get it going uh, you know, to, to help the people here. Because these are the top three concerns that I, I kept hearing. Yeah. So these are the top three. Yeah. So what's the progress on this top yes, three that right. you set up to mm, Like better. I mentioned, um, the other two, we are progressing well, okay, except for the establishment, which I'm still sure about. Okay. Um, in fact, in, my, in our last Parliament sitting in August, um, I put up a PQ uh, on this, you know, because this plot of land here that we have, okay, in, 20, in 2008, master plan says it was a uh, secondary school, okay, but in 2013, it became a park and more residential area. All right, um, and in fact, several residents wrote in to me, okay, they, they actually expressed uh, their concerns. Over more residential area because you know as of now we are very packed and very dense. Okay, and people are really uh, the residents are really looking forward to uh, something more practical like uh, 
food centre, wet market or whatsoever. And what is important that if you really do get that, we hope that it's run by HDB and not outsourced to some private developer, uh, some private manage, uh, private company to manage. Because that will help to keep the, uh, the cost affordable. Um, I think we are thank, you. Much okay. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.